At a show like Sun and Fun, you'll see a fair number of King Airs, either on display or in the parking areas, but you won't see one like this. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AVWEB from Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. And here's Chief Warrant Officer Jeremy Leeson to tell us all about the Army's latest and greatest reconnaissance platform based on a King Air 350. Behind me is the, uh, the King Air 350. Uh, we designated in the Army as a, an MC-12S, or EMARS. It's our latest and greatest and an ISR asset. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a modified King Air 350. And uh, basically what we do is we collect, uh, we're a reconnaissance air, airframe that collects information for the, uh, the ground force uh, or ENSCOM, which is uh, the Army's Information Security Command. Uh, we provide uh, real-world, uh, real-time data for the commanders on the ground to analyze and then formulate their, uh, their plan. That's kind of what we do. We're uh, just a, a support asset, you could say. We do, have, we do provide full motion video to, uh, to the ground force commander and all analysts. Uh, beyond that, we have a, a communication suite that allows for further intelligence uh, digestion of, of what we can gather. Um, it's probably as, as uh, specific as I'd like to, to get. Uh, we have two pilots, and beyond that, we, we, at times we have analysts in the back. Uh, it just depends on what, what the mission is. It's a little heavy. It's a little heavy, but we like it. It, uh, it slows down real fast and, and nice and easy for us when we're on a short, short final. So yeah, it's a little heavier than most King Airs, but we do have uh, we do have an extended range fuel tank fuel system, so we can go. We still can go pretty far. Um, the drag is uh, an inconvenience, but it's uh, it's not anything that's too bothersome.